Hi everyone, Carol from Calling Back the Ancestors here. So this week we're going to be moving away from the shadow side of our feelings and we're going to be looking at more, I would say everyday topics, every week in, week out kind of things that happen. We're going to look at this week at how you feel when you leave your house or your home. So many people don't recognize that when they leave their house and they go out into the street or outside into their car, that they tense up, that they feel stress, they feel anxious. Some people put it down to the fact of just a general life or their work that they're heading towards. So this week is a combination of teaching you to become aware of how you are feeling and what causes that could be. And secondly, to reduce some of the ancestral stress that could have been inherited by your ancestors that were killed when they left their home. So today, our first activation and our first settling is to let's say we'll we'll talk about our male ancestors today and we will settle those male ancestors that keep warning you about leaving the home and feeling fearful now this doesn't mean you shouldn't take normal responsibility for your personal safety when you are anywhere inside or outside of the home but we want to reduce the loud ancestors that were killed when they were outside and when they walked outside. Now this could have a profound effect on your physical health as well and your mental health. If you are always scared about your well-being, you likely won't sleep well, you may have trouble relaxing, you may have trouble interacting with anyone else whether that's at work, on, in the shops, in the community in general. So today, our first activation, grab yourself a drink. Now, pause the video if you haven't got a drink. So right now, I've actually got myself a cup of homemade mushroom soup, would you believe? I've just whipped that up. So pause the video, go and grab yourself a hot drink, whether it's a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or a, a glass of water. And just take a sip of drink when I say, and I drink to you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be meditating. You don't have to be in a meditative state. If you'd like to pause this, grab a drink, go outside for a walk in the park, at the beach, whatever environment you've got near you, as long as you can be uninterrupted for that 10 to 15 minutes while you just listen and sip your drink when I do. And that's all you have to do. All right, so I'm going to be closing my eyes through the process, through me talking. If you're not going outside, I'm going to assume you are sitting in your room with a do not disturb sign on the door, your phone switched off, and you're just going to sit quietly with me and just follow along. All right. So taking a deep breath in and out and start to arrive in this room, in this place. Feeling your feet firmly placed on the floor. And as you breathe in and out, visualize or imagine a pyramid structure forming down around you. And as it forms around you, feel that the points of the pyramid reach down deep into the earth below. And feel and see and imagine the pyramid structure and you sitting underneath it. And as you breathe in and out, I call upon my ancestors from so far, far away and so long ago. I call upon all the male ancestors of mine that were killed when they left their home. I call upon all of my male ancestors as blood calls blood, calling back the men in my family tree that were killed when they left their home. Calling upon my grandfathers, my fathers, my uncles, my brothers, 
my sons, all of my family tree that were killed when they left their home. As blood calls blood, calling back the men of my line in the 18th, 19th, 20th century that were killed when they left their home. Calling you back here now to receive the love and blessings of all of us that came after you. Calling you back here now to receive my love, my care, and my knowledge that I see you. I see your life, your death, and I say thank you, and I drink to you. Reaching back further and further through the centuries, reaching back to the 15th, 16th, 17th centuries, as blood calls blood, I call back all the men in my line, all my male ancestors that were killed when they left their home calling you back here now to receive love and blessings, calling back the grandfathers, the fathers, the uncles, the sons, the brothers, calling you back here now to receive the love and blessings of the line, calling you back here now to receive the divine love and understanding that is flowing down through me, through the line to reach you, and as that love reaches you, what is also coming now is the divine understanding that the life you lived and the death you endured was exactly as it was supposed to be. You lived and died exactly as it was supposed to be. Calling you back here now to receive the blessings, love and thanks from all those who came after you. And I ask all those that came after you to nod, to see you, to know you. And with that, I say thank you and I drink to you. Reaching back further and further through the centuries, reaching back to the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th centuries, so very long ago, calling back all the men in my line, calling back all the ones that were killed when they left their home, calling you back here now for you to receive the love and blessings from me, your ancestor, the one that came after you calling to all of the ancestors and descendants to turn to see you, to nod and to know you, and to know that because of you we lived and we live. Calling you back here now to receive the love and blessings and the divine understanding that your life and death was exactly as it was supposed to be. Everything is exactly how it was supposed to be. And with that, I say thank you and I drink to you. Reaching back further and further through the centuries, through the years, reaching back to the 8th, 9th, 10th century as blood calls blood, calling back the male ancestors of my line, calling back all the men that died when they left the house, that were killed when they left the house, calling you back here now to receive the divine understanding and blessings from all the ancestors and descendants that came after you, calling everyone that came after you to turn towards you, to see you, to know you, and know that the life and death you lived was exactly how it was supposed to be. And as the divine love flows down towards you, you now have the understanding that all is how it was supposed to be. Everything in your life was exactly how it was supposed to be. Now I say thank you and I drink to you.
Reaching back further and further through the centuries, through the lives, through the generations that my family tree stretches back in time. Calling back all the male ancestors from the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh century. Calling you back here now to receive the love and blessings of me, your ancestor, me, your daughter. Calling back through the many centuries of human living, all the changes in life and living that has occurred. Calling you back here now to receive the divine blessings and understanding that your life and death was lived exactly as it was supposed to be. Calling back the grandfathers, the fathers, the sons, the nephews, the brothers, the uncles, calling back all of my family that died when they left their home, that were killed when they left their home. Calling you back here now to receive my love, my thanks for being here. My love and the divine understanding, truth and deep caring that your life and death was exactly as it was supposed to be. And as the love flows back down through the centuries towards you, you have the understanding that the life and death you lived were exactly as they should be, exactly as it was. And with that, I say thank you and I drink to you. Reaching back further and further through the centuries as blood calls blood, I call back the male ancestors of mine in the third, second and first centuries, all those that died when they left their home because they were killed, calling you back here now to receive the love and understanding, the blessings, the truth, and the divine love that is now flooding through me towards you. Calling back all of the descendants from your time to look towards you, to say thank you to you, to know you, see your life and death, and say their thanks. Calling upon the divine understanding that is now flowing towards you. As you receive our love, you are now understanding that the reason for the life and death you lived was exactly as it was supposed to be. Everything is exactly how it was supposed to be. And I say thank you. And with that thanks, I drink to you. And as we sit here, calling back now all of the male ancestors from the 20th century all the way to the first century, all the ones that were killed when they left their home, calling for you all to see each other, to know each other's life and death. And know that this was all exactly as it was supposed to be. It was all exactly as it was supposed to be. And I say thank you and I drink to you. Now as I breathe in and out, returning to this room, to this place, to this 21st century. And breathing in and out and feeling the love that surrounds me within this pyramid structure, within the golden light of understanding and truth, acceptance and forgiveness. 
I say thank you to all. I can open our eyes. Well, I don't know about you, but I felt a lot of love and understanding flowing down through the centuries, particularly to the, the very early centuries. Let me know your experiences and let me know if you have any interesting dreams tonight. All right, I'll say bye for now and speak to you tomorrow.